Okay, so there is a fix for the Medifar, you know, download page on Direct PS3 on well, on my website. We're going to use it on, um, but it only will work for custom firmware users. I'm pretty sure it's for custom firmware users only, and it won't work for hen because you need access to the debug settings and I don't know how to get that for him. I don't think you can. It might be a way around but I don't know. So we're going to show you that method. Okay so what you want to do is on your PS3 custom firmware this will work for only this method is for. I can't I have not found a hen method. Apparently it's because the web browser on PS3 is outdated this has been going on for a while now. I've seen TikToks on it now. I don't even have, I don't really use TikTok. But um, I Googled it, comes up with TikTok. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of um, Reddits as well on it. So I guess it's been going around ages and I've only just sort. I don't really um, use the web browser for PS3. I went to try it today and then obviously no look. So let's go to settings. Debug settings, that's what you'll need. And then apparently there's something called... Um, what's it called now? Uh, uh, I think it may be the other debug settings. Yeah, there's two debug settings. There's a Kex and a Dex one. I do not know which ones I've got on. Let me go to my custom firmware tools and check, shall we? Kex to Dex tools. Let's see that again because obviously I had the camera on that side. Oh, okay. We've got Dex ones on. Let's try switching them over. Okay, so debug settings. Okay, applied that to Kex now, and then you have to restart the console. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I had the headset on right, but it did, it wasn't even hooked up. I just popped it off thinking it was on, you know, and I was talking through the web camera the whole time. So hopefully that was loud and clear. Now you should be able to hear me way better. Okay, we just restarted the console. That's fucking funny. Okay, so restarted it. Let's go back down to debug settings now, and you should have a different set of debug settings. Right, and the one we're looking for, I will remember it when I see it, I think. Uh, where is it? Hmm. There it is. Internet browser debug. You want to make sure that's on. Once that's on, I have no idea if you have to restart. The ah, then you hit triangle. Press triangle, this pops up. Okay, so this pops up. What is this? Okay, so we've got WebKit. And then we've got user ag agent. And then you've got these ones right here. So, yeah, we've done that. Put it to browser debug. And we go back to the internet. And then we hit... Oh, user, and then what? Portable? Okay, I think I know. So, you just want to hit triangle. Uh, engine, you want to keep that to WebKit on engine. User agent, put that to PSP apparently. So click on that, then we go back into the web browser. Let's see if we can download now. This shouldn't have been a long video. <laughs> click on this. Okay, and just keep scrolling down. Just gonna click that again. And click on this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Still not giving me that error. 
And then if we hit download now. Oh! We got that error popping up again. Let's hit triangle, file, address entry. For me, I have to take out the uh, a letter out of this. I have to take out the S. Keep the link the same. For that. Then we hit enter again. It worked! What? <laughs> That's sick! Oh my god, it actually worked! That is sick. Let's go to packages. Hit the start button. What? Yo, that's so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, so custom firmware users only, I guess, this is for. It's not for hen. It's working. Uh, this is such a big XFB file. I'm not sure if to show you a... S I might show you a small one. Let's hit back. Okay, let's just go with this one here. This this is tiny. Let's go with the this right here. And we hit download. Okay. It's giving me that issue again. Take that part out. Keep the link the same. It works. Yes! But it, we need a hen fix still. Like, someone needs to find a hen fix. I don't think I can. Because uh, you can't get access to this. I've tried. And I don't want to uh, run a homebrew that's not for hen in case. I've heard. Maybe Hen Toolbox can fix it, but I've never even used Hen Toolbox. But, wow, we, we've, we've fixed it. We have fixed the issue. Alright everyone, so that's it for the fix. Um, custom firmware users only. Um, I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. And um, if you did, go ahead and leave a, smash that like, subscribe, it helps a lot. And... Uh, uh, yeah, let me know what other videos to make content on, or yeah, or PS3 modding again if you if you like that. Cause I I like to do gameplays more than making the tutorial. I like doing the tutorials too, but not ones that are extremely tricky. Like this one was quite annoying at first, but we managed to find a fix for it. So yeah, just leave leave it in the comments. Yeah, what someone wanted me to play some more GTA 4. I heard. Maybe maybe I'll do that. Um, so, yeah, and uh, check out my main YouTube channel as well. That is also going to be in there. Uh, it's linked to this channel too, so you can find it. Uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully this has fixed your solution now for custom firmware users, hen users. I'm I'm sorry, but I do not have a fix for hen at the moment. Um, I will try and keep looking for one maybe, or we could, I don't know, you might have to go to custom firmware, but um, yeah, thank you again for watching everyone, and sorry to the hen users, but custom firmware users, you should be good again now with this, um, smash that like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, bye for now.